Hello and welcome to this new 3D tutorials series where we will be recreating this 2D video in 3D using Blender. The first tutorial is going to be this town. We will not create every single element in it, but we will give you all the tricks you need to do it yourself or to use those tricks and techniques to your own projects and ideas. So let's begin. First, we need to download a free app called FSpy and install the FSpy add-on in Blender. So here in FSpy, I'm going to drag and drop the image I want, which is this building's image. Here, it's a mess of vertices that FSpy provide. You can always work with these, but let's say we want to change this to negative Z and the Y. So what I'm going to do now is to draw the vertices the way I want them to be. So let's say I want the Z to be in this edge here of this building. And the other Z. And now for the Y, I'm going to study these two points of that same building. And what about to select another Y? Let's do this green road. Now you can turn on the guide, let's say box. If you move it, notice it's just almost just like this building right here. So that way, you know you are, look at this, you are on the right track. I'm going to save this. And now here in Blender, I'm going to delete everything and file import fspy. And just like that, a blender will make a camera for us. And if you hit zero in the camera view, you will see the guide image. You can always toggle this on and off. Here in camera setting, background image, you can toggle this off. Let's keep it on. And let's now start adding some buildings. So I'm going to go to mesh cube. Notice wherever you move this, it will always match the view. So let's say I want it to be this tall building. So I'm going to hit one and in the edit mode, I'm going to move the origin to selected to always be in the bottom. Notice it's off the X axis in the negative side and the Z. We will fix that later. Now let's move back here. And I'm going to move this almost around here. Scale. Scale on the Z. To match the building. Let's move it on the Z. And scale on the Z again. Notice that it's way along the negative side of Z. So since you are in Blender and you only have the camera and the cube, you just can select these and move them all the way up to rest on the X. Nothing changes, but you get a nice floor for your models. We want to match these as possible. The perspective in Blender is the right one. The perspective in the image is a bit off, but it's almost there. So now for the rest of the buildings, let's see this one. I'm just going to duplicate this and just start to move around and it will automatically adapt. Let's 
Let's move on. Duplicate this one. I want to mention something very important. We want to make sure that this perspective is almost exactly like the picture, like this one, so that the projection process work smoothly. So I'm going to start with this one, moving to edit mode and start to move some edges to match exactly the reference. Now, as for this one, we can move into edit mode and move some vertices to match the exact reference. Here. this one and oh yes this one as well and this one it's all now a matter of editing to exactly match the perspective of the reference these examples are perfect now what i did is for example to grab this building and go to material view Control i to select everything else and h to hide then i selected this guy over here let's take uh, a screenshot for this and then in the Photoshop, I just drag this screenshot. Notice it's exactly in this building location. So I tweaked a little of this building and completed the missing parts. Those were hidden by the clouds. And then I have a perfect match here from the buildings, a layer for every single building of these that would make the process very smooth now all i want to do is this building this guy i want to go to blender and in the material view i'm going to do something first first of all i'm going to project settings and change this to cycles gpu compute disable all of these and reduce the samples so that I can get extra light result. In the color management, I will change this to a standard. And now, I'm going to apply all transformation. Control A and then apply all. And then I will switch to material. 
add a new and call it building one then i will go to modifiers and add a subdivision but i don't want it to shrink like this so i will switch to simple and increase the levels viewport then i will switch to shader editor i will add an image texture i will choose the building i want which is building number one then i can attach it just right here and in the uv editing nothing is appeared since we don't select this so i will select all of this now everything is appeared now what i want to do is hit u then project from view notice that there's a lot of stretching right here and that's because the lack of segments so first i'm going to edit and select all of these and start the editing process i want them to be exactly um matching this but if you want it to be perfect let's just select single face at once the stretching is still on so what i'm going to do is go into object mode apply the subdivision modifier then i will go into edit mode again select all of these and hit project from view again now everything it's exactly in the place now let's make another one i will select this first i will apply all transforms then i'm going to add a subdivision surface switch to simple and then increase the levels viewport now i'm going to shading and hit new let's call it building number two and then i will add the image image texture and link it to base color now switch to uv editing this is visible because we're not selecting the new one our left down there it is and then i will hit project from view hitting you then project from view it appears now i can select a single face at a time and start the editing notice there's a stretching as well so in the object mode i'm going to hit apply then I'm going to edit mode again, select everything and hit you, project from view again, and everything is good now. You get the idea. Repeat the process to the other buildings. Duplicate, move and edit to match the reference, then project the material and you will get your own town in no time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.